It's Scandinavian Bob here with some more NoFap tips for you. As you guys know, I have for a long time now recommended that you have a NoFap journal, or call it what you want, but journaling in general is such an amazing tool to help you progress in whatever you do in life. Now, first I'd like to tell you that in whatever way you choose to journal, be it on your computer or in a notebook, that's great. Give yourself a pat on the back, because the key to thing is that you actually do it. However, those of you who have read my blog or who have had a coaching session with me have heard me say that I do recommend using a real physical pen and paper. And I have told you that I don't really know what it is. It's just my intuition, but to me it seems like the hand-brain connection becomes stronger that way, and that will actually help reinforce what you are writing. Well then last week I happened to stumble on a real study made on this. It was made on Japanese university students, confirming my intuition exactly. The study is showing that writing things down on a paper affects your brain differently and helps imprint it in the brain. And this was a serious study using an MRI scanner which measures blood flow in the brain. Now the students who used real pen and paper had more brain activity in the areas associated with language, imaginary visualization and in the hippocampus, an area known to be important for memory and navigation. Researchers said that by using paper, richer details could be recalled and navigated in the mind's eye. Well, that's pretty darn cool. Now, if you don't want to use a real pen and notebook, and you like your digital journal, then by all means continue with that. It is certainly much better than not journaling at all, and for those of you who are not journaling yet, it's about time you started. And so now some of you say, I don't like journaling, I don't even know what to write. Who cares if you don't like it? Look at it like a tool that will help you get what you want out of life. And as far as what to write, you should know that even if you just write anything, it will be helpful, because it is like thinking on paper. It helps with organizing your thoughts. Now sure, there are hundreds of ways you can use your journal to get even more out of it. And here are just a few examples. This is something I personally do every evening. I write down tomorrow's activities. And under that I obviously write down what I want to get done the following day. Something that at the end of the day has brought me just a little bit closer to my bigger goals in life. Now you cannot make this too hard because then you just make it too intimidating and so you just go and play video games and watch adult sites instead. Don't do that. It is much better that you approach it kind of like a negotiation with yourself. You know, if I do this and this, then I get to have a beer and play my favorite game for 50 minutes after that, or whatever. Negotiate with yourself in a smart way. But then, under the activities, I also write down possible hurdles. And under that subheading, I list what obstacles I could potentially run into when executing those tasks. And not only that, I also write down what I could do to get around those hurdles if they crop up. For example, I could run into the hurdle of total lack of motivation when I'm about to train my bench press. And I get performance anxiety because I'm afraid that my results will be worse than last week. Well then, one solution could be to remind myself that I am not training to get a new record every single week, because that's impossible. No one can do that. I'm doing it to be strong and healthy for the rest of my life. And even if my training sessions were to suck, it's still 500 times better than to skip it altogether. And I shall also remind myself of that disappointment in myself and the complete lack of satisfaction I get when sitting down on my sofa at the end of the day if I skipped my gym training and I let myself down. Now, this was just a short example. I use many other tools in my journal as well, but the key thing is that when you think on paper, it is like you are activating a GPS system in your brain that will help you keep on track. 
You could also start every day by writing down why NoFap is important to you and why relapsing would be a really, really bad idea. Yes, something as small as that would actually help you keep on track. And to make it even more effective, you could also tie it to your identity and write down what kind of a person you want to be in life. Do you want to be that kind of a person who is wasting all his life force into a paper tissue in front of the laptop? And a person who always breaks his own promises and who can't even keep his own words? Or do you want to be a grounded, secure man who does what he sets out to do, who can trust himself and who is proud of himself? Now that would make it even stronger because your identity is the core driver of your actions. Remember, as I said so many times before, the strongest force in human personality is the need to stay consistent with how we define ourselves. And don't you think that if you were to start every day by writing things like that down in a notebook, it would drastically propel you forward in life. I'll tell you one thing. I personally journal both in the morning and before I go to bed. And it has been one of the absolute best tools I have implemented in my life. And speaking of helpful stuff, take a look at this video right here and you will discover a graph that once I understood actually changed my life completely. Oh man, that idea right there could give you a real big aha moment. This is Scandinavian Bob signing out for today. Keep going and stay strong.